Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Girly Over 5 Views. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys the second piece that I got from that from that trip to Walmart. Yes, this is what we're reviewing today! <laughs> That's a way to go into the show what the heck you're reviewing. Look really creepy. No, I'm not creepy. I just like ponies. They're cool. Uh, but yeah, we have here a uh, Rainbow Dash. It's new! To Walmart! No, I didn't know it was new. Um, it is just bluntly fashion style Rainbow Dash. Really, Hasbro? You're running out of ideas to call these ponies things. Like, whatever happened to the old Hasbro that I remember? Like, zing, zinging Rainbow Dash and powder puff butt scrubber. <laughs> that was never a thing! Oh. oh, thank goodness. I thought something really awful had happened. Sponsor! <laughs> powder puff butt sponge <laughs> butt sponge you might be asking i don't know um this says on the back here okay well, i'm having way too much fun with this review uh it says here rainbow dash she can't wait to go roller skating wait a minute wait, wait, wait. on the last box it said she can't wait to go to the party and this one can't wait to go roller skating they're easy to please they're ponies no duh Ponies are awesome. But yeah, uh, Rainbow Dash here can't wait to go roller skating. I actually can roller skate. Last time I did, I fell on my ass. <laughs> Dress her up in her colorful rainbow outfit and put on her roller skates. I'd love to, Hasbro, but you've already beat me to it. Notice that how they, how they state that you dress her up in the stuff that she's already dressed in, yet they don't talk about their accessories at all. Hasbro, why do you try to trick us? <laughs> Let's open this up and see what it's like. Also, the size of the box, I just realized that it could either be horseshoes or it could be rainbows. Um, yeah, Let's open this up before I say something else. Rainbow Dash has roller skates now. And all I can say is, it's the attack of the 80s, I just realized. She's got the same button-up thing in the front. You can actually open it. That's craptacular, I guess. Um, <laughs> no, it's cool. Um, but uh, she's got leg warmers. People, if you guys know anything about the 80s, it was leg warmers were big. Big. And so are roller skates. These kinds of roller skates. Ironically, the same kind that would pop the wheels off. No! <laughs> no. But I don't really remember much from the 80s because I was just an infant then. Like, I was born in 1985, so I barely remember anything. All I remember is a blender. No, seriously, my dad, when I was a baby, my dad, <laughs> all right, first thing in the morning, put the new baby right next to the blender. It'll help her sleep. And now my mother, my mother tries to figure out, how the hell do I, am I able to sleep as they're doing construction behind the house? Yeah, I wonder. Maybe because dad put me next to the blender when I was an infant. Thanks, Dad! <laughs> but yeah, uh, getting off the blender topic, <sighs> we've got here uh, Rainbow Dash, uh, looking badass. She's got a star in her eye. Wait a minute. Oh, Pinky had it too! Cool, Pinky's got it too. If you look at the Pinky one here, she's got it as well. She's got the star in her eye right there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Little hidden gem. That they would stick in some of these ponies. I like that. I like finding little quirky things. Um, 
it's kind of nice that they released um, this one along with the Pinkie Pie because, like I said in the last review, it does look like Pinkie Pinkie Pie's one does indeed look like a neon version of Rainbow Dash. And back in the '80s, neon was all the rage. So these must be an homage to the '80s, maybe, because especially her earrings, because you know. Everybody sing it with me! Rainbow Dash always dresses in style. <laughs> she doesn't! That's rarity! What the fudge? But yeah, um, she's got earrings. Uh, the, that little hole in the middle, I guess you could use it to, like, put, a, like, a, one of the, uh, gems from, like, the princess sets. From the crystal princess sets in there, I guess. Here's another one. It's triangle. Oh my god, these are right out of the 80s. Oh my god, there's another one. Oh, it's like looking back at the pictures of my parents holding me when I was a baby. It's so... Oh, 80s. Not the best time. I prefer, the, like, either the 70s or the 90s. They were my favorite because the like the 70s had like the cool disco music and like the 90s was like when nintendo was created so it was like really awesome um but yeah uh, also there's another one that i'm sure that if you had the princess uh the crystal princess set i'm sure you could possibly put one of the gems in there that'd be cool um yeah what can i say about this set why the 80s i don't know why um i probably this is prime uh showing of hasbro hitting the wall in the um coming up with new ideas why don't they give us what we want which is like oh i don't know like a wider display of like the background characters but in brushable format like oh i don't know like um a big mac brushable or a Granny Smith brushable, or, you know, so on and so forth. But yeah, um, these figures are pretty cool. I like them. Um, they're a little confusing at first, but once you get past the whole 80s thing, they're pretty cool. So yeah, if you, you guys can pick them up at Walmart right now, uh, they're about, like, I'd say like tw 15 to 20 bucks each. They're pretty good price. Um, so yeah. Till next time, people. This has been a Sky Pie in the watermelon strawberry dress saying, I don't got a single word going through my head that makes sense. And, um, oh, look, my head sprouted wing. Oh! <laughs> See you guys next time.